Blowing reeds, rippling water, and swans, this peaceful scene looks more like the English countryside, but residents of Douglaston call this place home. This community in northeastern Queens sits just at the Nassau County border. To get a sense of just how special it is, I spoke to architect and unofficial historian Kevin Wolf. The largest uh, building boom in the United States happened here as the railroad connected uh, the city, Manhattan, to the suburbs. Douglaston was named after the Douglas family. Its mile-long waterfront, a big draw. The uh, Douglases had a dock, which you can see around the corner here, 200-foot-long uh, yachting pier. So they had swimming, uh, they had boating, and this incredible amenity that brought people here. They sold it as an athletic lifestyle. In 1906, they said, we're going to do deed restrictions. It's only going to be single-family houses, no commercial, no two families, no flat roofs, because that implied for people that it was an apartment building uh, before modernism took hold. Tree-lined streets and gorgeous mansions make this neighborhood, in a word, charming. It's the best of both worlds. You're, you're in the city uh, limits, and if you want to go into the city, it's 22 minutes by Long Island Railroad. And if you want to go out to the beaches of Long Island, uh, you're halfway there. So it's a great halfway point, and you're on a little peninsula here, and you, you can even go swimming in Little Neck Bay if, if you want. And you can go fishing and cycling through the neighborhood, and it's just terrific, and the people are just, you couldn't ask for a better community. Douglaston Parkway is where you'll find quaint shops. A mile away on Marathon Parkway is the Douglaston Golf Course. This place used to be a former country club where Yankee slugger Babe Ruth played. Well, it's one of the few places in Queens you come and play golf and be in the open area, have a view of the city right behind you, and, and kind of escape uh, New York City reality for a while. The golf course is adjacent to Douglaston Manor, a historic home turned catering facility, which was once a nightclub owned by Steve Rubel before Studio 54. It does offer inside and outdoor cocktail hours as well as indoor and outdoor ceremonies. Finally, if you get hungry in Douglaston, check out Il Toscano. This tiny restaurant reminds you of being in Tuscany, and it's known for its handmade pasta. Today, they're making ravioli. The three things that make a difference between a good restaurant to a great restaurant, number one is family, number two is fresh pasta, like we make every morning, like you could show previously, and also going to the market. I personally go to the market twice a week, fill up the truck, and bring home the best that I possibly can. Time for a taste. The ravioli finally ready, artichoke, ricotta, and sun-dried tomato. Mmm, amazing. The New York City Landmark District ensures that this place will retain its character. Douglaston, a little slice of heaven in Queens, and it's closer than you think. Crystal Young, Fox 5 News.